Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. Back at you with another video, like I said. Uh, so this case is going to be about Philip Frazier. So i got the details of the case right here. Now, 25 year old Philip Frazier left his Anchorage, Alaska home to go to Evergreen College in Washington on June 14th, 1988. On June 17th, after two days, after losing two days to car trouble, uh, Philip crossed over into Canada. The next day, a hitchhiker was dropped off at a at the 40 mile uh, flat cafe owned by Gay Frockledge and her daughter Tina. Philip and Tina, her daughter Tina. Philip uh, then drove to the cafe and began searching his car for something. Uh, Tina went to pump it. Pump it. Uh, sorry about that. Tina went out to pump gas for another customer and said hello to Philip. Uh, the hitchhiker then paid for his meal and then left the cafe and then asked Philip for a ride. He at first refused, but the man began running after the car, and Philip decided to give the man a ride. Eight hours later, the hitchhiker met Eddie and Pauline Olson when his car appeared to have trouble, and they had him stay the night at their home. The next morning, the man told the Olson Olsons that he was Philip Frazier, and that he would, he wanted to sell his car for, plane, for a plane ticket, but Eddie refused. Uh, the, the man then drove away and was never seen again. A few hours later, he left the Olsons. Uh, Philip's burned out car was found at a car wash 300 miles from the Olsen home. Six weeks later, Philip's body was found in a gravel turnaround, and the search for his killer began. Uh, however, his murder still remains unsolved. So the result is still unsolved, and since this case aired, Philip's father died in 2014. So, yeah, uh, you know, unfortunately, the father passed away before um, this guy was found, um, but I guess the mother's still alive, um, I guess one of the positive things to this case is, you know, at least they found the body, so they were able to lay their son to rest, but, you know, they still weren't able to find the guy that, uh, that murdered him, um, You know, I think the guy just uh, eventually kind of flew off and flew the country and went somewhere, I believe. Uh, they talked about that he was going to Seattle or something like that in the uh, Unsolved Mysteries um, segment. So that may be where he might have went. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, maybe someday he'll be caught. Who knows? Um, you know, it just goes to show you can't, can't always trust hitchhikers. <laughs> You know, because then stuff like this could happen, so, uh, you know, you drivers out there, just watch who you pick up, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much all i got to say for this video, um, if you like this video, subscribe, comment, um, give me your thoughts on this case, um, your theories, um, as usual, my Twitter, my Twitter link, and my, um, PlayStation 4, um, Gamer tag will be in the description, so look out for that. Uh, I'm gonna have another video coming up like, right after this one. Not an unsolved mysteries video, but yeah. Uh, well, I'll get into it when I do it. And um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all I gotta say. And uh, we're right up.